Good morning, class. We're moving on to lesson 2.4. This looks at Venn diagrams, but we're working with three sets as compared to two sets, as we did in 2.3. When we talk about three sets, there's a particular method by which we go about finding our different areas, and you're going to see this graphic appear periodically. We have set A, set B, and set C. And within each of these different sets, we have different regions. Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So our general procedure to make these diagrams, and you'll have a couple examples like this on the homework to do. First things you're going to do is figure out which ones need to be placed in region V by finding the intersection of A, B, and C. And I guess I should say region 5 intersection of A, B, and C. So that's where A and B and C all cross over. So that's this little middle piece right here. Uh, the second thing is going to be determine the elements to place in region 2 by finding the intersection of A and B. Determine the elements to place in uh, region 4 by finding the intersections of A and C. And then find the intersection of B and C to put into region number six then number three determine the set the elements to be placed in region one by using what elements are left in set a and then determine what's in room number three by using what's left in b and then uh, determine what needs to go in c by using those then lastly put the ones in uh, eight the leftovers if you will outside of our three venn circles inside the universal set. So that's our general method by which we build these. In the homework, as I mentioned, you're gonna be building a handful of these. So take your time to sketch them up well. If you need help, um, you can probably like put your iPad and Google up a quick three set Venn diagram and then just trace it if that, if that helps you. Let's keep moving. A couple examples. Um, first things first, when we talk about creating these Venn diagrams, what we're looking for, as I said earlier, is we're going to be going through those different features and procedures. So the first thing I want to do is find what's in all three. Okay, well, I can see that there's a two going to be in all three of them. Um, not a one, so two. There's a four in all three of them. And if I just keep looking here, oh, that's about it. So I should have a two and a four in the middle. Then what's in A and C? Well, I've got a one in A and C. And I've got a nine in A and C. Then I look and see what's in uh, A and B. Well, A and B are going to have a three. And that'll be it. And then what's in uh, B and C? Um, I don't think there's any overlap in B and C. Okay, and then I go through each of the individual ones. So in A, I'll be putting a 7 and an 11. And then in B, I'll be putting a 5, a 10, a 12, and a 14. And then in C, I'll be putting an 8. And whatever I didn't use is going to go into the universal set. So I've already used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, no 13, 14, and 15. So if I did everything right, hopefully I did, I should wind up with this. So you can see here I've got two and four in the middle. And I've got the overlap over here. This is one and nine. And there's no overlap on this side. And the overlap between A and B is just three. And then I've got the individual ones that are in A, 7 and 11. I've got B has 5, 10, 12, and 14. C has 8. And then the other ones go on the outside, 6, 13, and 15. So that is kind of how you do these. All right. So let's clear the screen here. Let's move on. Another example, create the Venn diagram. So here again, just tagging them off. You're going to do what's in all three of them. Well, there's pair, pair, pair. So pair, pair, pair is in all three. So that would go in the center part. Then I look at the A, B combinations. A, B, there are none. So there are none going to be in the A, B. Because nothing's crossed over. What about the B, C? Well, B, C, I got these two. So banana, 
goes into the BC area. All right. Oh, I missed one. AC. So I have an AC as well. So AC, we've got grape. So grape is going to go in the AC area. And then I've got melon also in the AC area. So that's also going to go here in this AC area. And then lastly, I've got apple. Apple is going to go all by itself in C. So apple goes down here. And peach goes all by itself in B. So peach is going to get written over here. And that takes care of all my sets. And then I've just got the universal set. Well, I've already used... What color do I need here? Pink. I've already used peach. I've already used pear. I've already used banana. I've already got apple. I've already got grape. I've already got melon. That means all I have left is orange. And orange will get put in this region down here. Let's see how we did. Boom. Peach, pear, banana, grape, melon, apple, orange. Cool. Love it when a plan comes together. So that's how you do those types. Okay. On to the next one. This is a little trickier where we need to uh, use the Venn diagram to write the set in roster form. And you're going to have a variety of sets. Some of the sets are going to be written out like this. Some of the sets are going to be written out in tables. Uh, and you might just have to choose which region it goes to. Uh, but as you do work through these, just remember our vocabulary. So we have uh, union. That's this little U shape here. So when we see the word union, um, we've got that. Uh, we've got the intersection. That's where two of them cross over. So if I'm talking like the union of A and B, it's where A and B are all together. If I'm talking about the intersection of, say, A and B, so that's where A, and in this example, it's going to be the um, complement of B. So it's like anything that's not in B where those guys cross over. So there'd be something like that. Uh, we're actually going to go through each of these individually and just kind of take a look at it. So first things first, uh, we look at A. So anything that's in A, we're going to be looking at just this chunk. So just the stuff that we find in A, that's going to include regions 1, 2, 4, and 5. And for this example, it's going to be these letters. We've got D, E, G. So this is the stuff that's in A. We've got D, G, E. Sorry, not alphabetical. F and I. Sorry about that. Okay. Moving on to the next example. We're trying to find the union of A, B. So the union of A with B. When we have that union, these two guys together, it's basically all the stuff that fits inside here. So all of these guys, we're talking everything in the union of A, B. So we should have all these letters. Try to do them alphabetical. A, C, D, E, F, G, I, K. That's all the stuff that's in the union of A and B. Next, it says the intersection of A and the complement of B. So the intersection of A and the complement of B. So it cannot be part of what we have here in B. So things that are left, not counting the stuff that's in B. Well, that's going to be these two. It has to be part of A. It has to be part of set A. And it has to intersect with the complement of to B, so it cannot be anything from B, so that means it's only these two letters right here. All right, moving on to the next example. Um, this is the intersection of A, B, and C. A, B, and C, where they all intersect. These are kind of the, I don't know, the easy ones if you want to call it that. A and B and C, where do they all cross over? right there so they cross over at that position that means this answer is going to be the uh, set e okay all right last but not least i think we're almost at the end here um we're looking at the union of a and b and where that intersects with c so the union of a and b is again all of these guys and where they intersect with letter C. Let's take a look at that. 
we've got this plus this and where it crosses over on this. So those two and where they cross over here, it's hard to kind of make that shape, but it's kind of like this, you know, this area here. This is regions four, five, and six. We got these letters, D, E, and A. So this is how you read the uh, Venn diagrams. And as you create these Venn diagrams, for a couple of them, you'll be making Venn diagrams. For a couple of them, you'll be using tables to help you answer. Um, that's how you go about doing this process. So here's the homework for 2.4. We're doing 64, pages 64 to 67. And we're going to go 8 to 70 even. You might be saying to yourself, whoa, that's a lot of problems. Uh, it is a bunch of problems, but remember, some of them you're just putting down which region you're finding it in. So you might be finding it in a certain region, and so as you do so, you need to write that down. However, you need to explain why you're putting it in certain regions. So the examples you saw here, as well as the examples in the textbook, will help you uh, do well on this um, homework. Again, make sure you use the appropriate diagrams if it's asking you to draw a three Venn diagram. And then the biggie here is explain why. So it might say, you know, where is the union of A, B, and C? Like what's in there? You could say uh, it's five because that is where A, B, and C cross over. So you might see that um, in the answer key, it might just have a Roman numeral five. You need to explain why it's Roman numeral five in just a couple of, you know, a short statement so that it makes sense. If you have any questions, you know how to email me. We'll talk to you real soon. Best of luck on this homework.